My name is Enrico Colantoni, and I'm playing the uh, Laura Hollis character's father, Sherman Hollis. Well, my initial impression of the series was one of uh, shock and surprise that something on the internet was, because I'm old, and I didn't realize that anything on the internet actually had 50 million people watching it. But then as I watched it, I thought, the writing is really good. It was refreshing to see sexuality not really being in the forefront of it. It was just they happened to be gay, and they were dealing with bigger issues like demons and vampires, and uh, they happened to be gay, which is, I think, where the evolution needs to go to. It needs to be just much more part of everybody's world, and we need to all just sort of accept it as mainstream. You know? So far, my favorite moment between Laura and myself has been um, the immediacy of, of uh, and the willingness to play the part. She's, a, um, Elise is such a lovely human being and so warm that when we, we met, she gave me the biggest hug as if we'd known each other for, for years and years and years and that usually relaxes any newcomer, knowing that they're so welcome. So my favorite moment actually happened before we actually worked together. It was when we first met. Well, initially, Sherman doesn't like Carmilla at all, for obvious reasons. She's a vampire. I think he has an innate mistrust for any undead. And, uh, but then, you know, she grows on you. You can see why Laura loves her. And, I mean, there's no, no, no complaints. As long as there's respect, there's mutual respect. I don't care if you're a vampire. My advice to any aspire, young, young aspiring actor or actresses, my advice is be damn sure you love what you do, man. Don't do it for the wrong reasons, which would be fame and money. Do it because you love it. And you're willing to put 10,000 hours into it before you consider yourself a master. Like any art form. If I were to give Sherman some advice, it, it's really, at some point you have to let go. And he realizes in the course of, of the series, or the season, that he can't protect his daughter. He can't have that control over what could happen to his daughter. Of course, her situation is so extreme and so otherworldly that most parents don't have to deal with that. But, it, you know, the metaphor is the same. It's like, how do, you know, I can't, I have to let go. I have to let her be her own person and, you know, be there if the worst ever occurs. I hope this show resonates with fans of Veronica Mars because having played Keith, the frustration with that was that Keith knew what Veronica was doing. He knew the trouble she was getting into, which made him borderline enabling and irresponsible because he really was, he knew it was happening, but he was just like, oh, what am I gonna do? Some people think that's good parenting, but I think it's horrible. Sherman says everything that I wish Keith got to say to Veronica. Hey, uh, it's Enrico Colantoni again, and I want to thank you for, I guess you tune in. On, I don't know, I guess you tune in. You're watching Carmilla. Keep watching because it only gets better. Peace. <laughs>